friends, what's up? This is RK from 360 Reader. Right now, I'm going to talk about iPhone 13 and what it has got in store. iPhone 13 rumors and leaked images have been pouring in all over the internet and from what I can tell, based on the rumors and the leaked mockups, I must say that iPhone 13 is going to be a massive upgrade. So just in case you are curious to know about iPhone 13 specs and everything that it has got in store, I have got you fully covered. That said, let's get going on the right note. Before getting started, make sure you have subscribed our YouTube channel if you haven't already and hit the bell icon so that you won't miss any update from 360 Reader. According to several rumors, Apple is expected to continue offering 4 iPhones in 2021 with no changes to the sizes. So we can expect a 5.4 inch iPhone mini, a 6.1 inch low cost iPhone, a 6.1 inch Pro model and a 6.7 inch Pro Max model rumors have suggested that the iphone 12 mini has seen lackluster shells however apple is still planning for an iphone 13 mini the 2021 iphone models are not expected to feature major design changes because the 2020 iphone 12 series marked a massive technology and design overhaul apple has always wanted to introduce an iphone with no external ports or buttons for a clean streamlined device and there were rumors suggesting that apple would introduce a portless iPhone in 2021 with no lightning port. However, it doesn't look like that's going to happen after all. Another thing worth taking note of is that Apple has no plans to transition the iPhone lineup from lightning to USB-C, according to noted Apple analyst Ming Chiko. Ko recently said that Apple is reluctant to shift to USB-C because it is an open standard and less waterproof than lightning. It's also worth mentioning is that with Lightning, Apple can regulate the quality of Lightning cables and accessories through the Made for iPhone MFI program, but that would not be possible with USB-C. The iPhone 13 and future iPhones are expected to continue to use Lightning ports until massive accessories are available everywhere to allow for a portless iPhone design. According to the noted analyst Ming Chi Ko, the iPhone 13 models will have a smaller nose design which is in line with other rumors that we have heard about the devices. Japanese side Mako Tara has also stated that the true def camera will be shallower because the receiver at the top of the display is being relocated to the edge of the case. This will allow for a design that's thinner rather than shorter. Bloomberg has stated that Apple is testing an in-screen Touch ID fingerprint reader that would mark a major change to the biometric systems that Apple has used for flagship devices since the launch of the iPhone 10. If Apple is able to introduce in-display touch ID, the fingerprint sensor would be made available in addition to face ID and would be convenient for iPhone users who can't unlock their iPhones with facial recognition when using masks. Based on several rumors, Apple is all set to introduce a 120Hz refresh rate on the iPhone. To implement a 120Hz refresh rate on the iPhone 13, Apple needs to adopt LTPO display technology, which is rumored to be happening in 2021. Rumors have suggested that at least two 2021 iPhone models will use OLED displays with lower power LTPO backplane technology, which will pave the way for 120Hz refresh rate. LTPO offers a more power efficient backplane which turns the individual pixels on and off on the display and allows for better battery life. The two models with LTPO are expected to be the Pro models which are the ones that are rumored to adopt Pro motion technology. According to Max Weinbach, a leaker with a mixed track record, the iPhone 13 will spot an always-on display that will look like a toned-down lock screen with the clock and battery charge label available notifications will be displayed but the screen will not entirely light up he also says that the iphone display will feature a 120 hertz refresh rate Apple is likely to use a 5nm plus A15 chip for the 2021 iPhones, with the chip set to be manufactured by TSMC. Qualcomm in February 2020 introduced a new Snapdragon X60 third generation 5G modem, which will be used in the 2021 iPhones. Future iPhones will also use the X65 and X70 Qualcomm modem chips. 
It's also worth pointing out that Qualcomm Snapdragon X60 is built on a 5 nanometer process, offering higher power efficiency in a smaller footprint than the X65 chip used in iPhone 12 models. It also allows for aggregation of 5G data from MMWave simultaneously for much improved speeds and coverage. The iPhone 13 series will come with larger batteries that will deliver longer battery life. Apple is using new space-saving designs like integrating the SIM slot with the main board and reducing the front optical module thickness to make more space for the battery. As a power user, I always like to have plenty of juice in the tank, so I'm really glad that Apple is going to introduce larger batteries that will deliver plenty of extra juice. Some rumors have suggested that the iPhone 13 models will feature up to 1 terabyte of storage space up from the 512 GB maximum in the iPhone 12 models. As it has not been confirmed by a trusted source, I would suggest you to take it as a pinch of salt. According to several rumors, iPhone models will get an upgraded ultra-wide camera with a 6-element lens and an improved f1.8 aperture that will let in more light than the current f2.4 aperture lens, allowing for better performance in low-light conditions. Improved autofocus is also expected to be on the cards. Going by the history, Apple is likely to introduce iPhone 13 series in the fall somewhere in September or October and it will be launched thereafter. That's pretty much it. As the launch of iPhone 13 is still months away, we will get to see plenty of interesting details and I'll keep you updated with more leaks and rumors about the upcoming iPhone models. So stay tuned in with us so that you won't miss any update related to iPhone 13 series. If you have found this video helpful, do like and share it and I'll see you in the next video with more such news, rumors, guides and more. Till then have a great time. Bye bye.